hi 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 and welcome to l and a does audio stuff hey this is the fourth video of this series in this series i talk to firstly cecily bolston who's a mastering engineer answering all the questions you want to know about mastering what is it should you do it by yourself or get someone else master it also she was showing how her mastering workflow actually goes in an actual mastering studio in air studios in london also in my last video i showed how to do mastering as an ultimate beginner so today we will do mastering chain that is a bit more advanced i would expect you to know what is compression what is eqing what is mastering about what happens in it and also general knowledge on you know limiting and the basic concepts around audio so example if you know how to mix you will be able to do this we will create an audio effect rack which is a preset that you can then save for yourself if you're lazy and can't be bothered to do it by yourself you can go and get it from my website from the link down below so let's get into it now <laughs> So the first things first, we're going to start with audio effect rack on this channel and we will start putting stuff in there. So first things first, I say that a lot. First things first, we're going to put EQ8 there. Then I'm going to put saturator there, glue compressor there and another EQ8. Okay, so this is the start of our chain. So first things first, first things <laughs> Why do I say that? So first we have EQ8, which we're just going to use as a subtractive way. We're going to leave some space to the low end, which means that under 20 hertz, somewhere there, we're going to cut everything away under 20 hertz. Also, what I like using, this is not subtractive, but additive, but I like adding a little bit air here on 16 kilohertz. And let's make the Q a little bit narrow. So we have this like a nice little EQ happening in the beginning. Okay, after that, we have a saturator, which adds a little bit of harmonics into the signal. So what we can do is add some drive, put output down first, then drive. And we can go, yeah, let's just go with analog clip. And usually I like putting the bass down a little bit. So that's a filter. This is a filter and that's a filter. So let's just see how that sounds. <laughs> So without the saturator, it's bringing quite a lot of volume in right now. So put the output down a little bit again. Okay. And then after that, we have glue compressor. If you want to master your track in the actual set where you created it, I would then recommend using the return track. So we would have parallel compression. But in here, we can do the parallel compression just using the dry wet. So we're going to put the attack very slow, release quite fast and then threshold let's put it quite low a minus 30. so you can see that there's quite a lot of gain reduction happening but it's quite like soft so it's basically just gathering everything together so we can add a tiny bit of makeup gain but in this point don't worry about the track being too quiet you can just test if the track is about the same as an input volume and output volume so that's about right okay so then we have the another eq here and this one we're gonna use for mid side eqing we go to mode and from here ms so mid side so depends on a song where the width should be you need to be using this really accordingly but let's just put that on m so mid we bring low end a little bit and so usually we love to hear the low end really on the middle and then on the side we're gonna want to go around the mid area and bring that up here so this is amazing for getting a little bit more of that width to your mix if you want to hear them you can just use the headphones and just see where where everything is so that's now in the mid I might want to bring that even more to the mid a little bit. Tiny bit on here. So 
So this is additive EQing, and then I'm just gonna bring the high, high, high area, so around here to the side. Make sure to gain stage in this point as well. If you're adding stuff, we need to gain stage. Okay, so we have the first area of the chain done. There we go. This mastering series is sponsored by DistroKid, a music distributor. Only recently I published my song, Give It Away, through DistroKid. What I love is that they make it super, super easy for me to publish it, but also market it and get material to promote my release. For example, you have Hyperfollow, which is one-stop link for all the shops where your music is available. They also can provide you mini videos, and also promo cards of your song so that you have plenty and plenty and plenty of stuff to post on your socials when the song comes out. You can even create fun memes and fun little videos for your socials. Example of Marshall from Friends jamming to your song, like this one. Marshall, okay, if you press that button, you are in very, very big trouble. <laughs> Digital Kid is also super kind because they are giving all my followers 7% off from your first subscription. So go and check it out from the link down below. Thank you so much, Digital Kid, for supporting my channel. As always, you are lovely. And now we're gonna make the second part of the chain. And this is gonna be audio effect rack here. And we need to go to that change here. So we're gonna bring a multi-band dynamic here. And the first chain, this is gonna be high. Delete both of those and put this as solo. Okay, we're gonna bring another multi-band dynamic here and we're gonna put here mid. And then we solo that and deactivate those two. So this is the high end. Mid. And then we're just gonna bring third one, which is gonna be low. So this now allows you to control high, mid, and low separately. Obviously, you can expand them, you can compress them how you wish. Add any effects, add whatever you want separately to different bands. That's why it's great for mastering. Example, if you have like issues with the mix or something, I would always recommend going first to the mix and fix it in there instead of trying to fix things in mastering. But in this one, if you want to, you can use this to fix stuff still, like balance wise, if you like to. Otherwise in here, I wanna also put the amount about 50%. So we are kind of keeping it maybe a little bit parallel. So let's go to the low one first. We can add, utility straight away after it. If this is a dance track, anything to do with EDM, put bass mono, and that allows everything under 120 hertz to be in mono. Really good thing. Perfect. And then I'm gonna bring a limiter in there, mid limiter in there, and then high limiter in there. If you are wanting to do downwards compression, which is the most regular type of compression, then what you can do is example on the attacks and releases, make attack a little bit slower, release a little bit faster. And then obviously we need to go to the A here and it will be here. So everything above one will be downwards compression. Maybe compress it a little bit more. There we go. Remember to add some gain. If you also compress, you're obviously gonna remove some gain as well. So you need to remember to add some gain. We might do the same thing with mid and high. I might wanna put that a little bit slower, a little bit faster. Maybe for mid, I wanna have a little bit less compression, maybe about, yeah, something like that. So we're gonna keep it quite nice and dynamic. And then we go high. And in here, I wanna do a little bit harder. And maybe minus 30. 
Obviously, you can do some de-essing here as well if you want. If you want still like to control the high end a little bit more if there's some reverbs or some effects that really bugging you. So without it. And with it. Oh, nice punchiness there. Hmm, lovely. So now what we need to do is bring our preset to live. Select both of the first and the second preset and we're gonna go and command G. And what that does is that it actually groups them together. So now we have the first chain here and we have the second chain. And guess what? We're gonna have a third one. Well, the only thing we're gonna do after this chain is we're gonna go and just put one more limiter here. You see that the limiter is end, 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 end of everything and that's the, our final control for the game okay now we need to start mapping everything so we're gonna start mapping from the second chain that we created hopefully it's still with me because i know that this can be like a lot to handle let's just go here and map the macros you can literally map here whatever you wish to but i would maybe want to just control the downward compressions of low mid and high go to the low one first and i want to control the threshold I might just leave the ratio as it is, but then I'm going to also control the output, so the volume. So as soon as you take threshold down, it will also make it louder. So we will map and I take the output of that channel, make it macro three, makes more sense. And then we also take the threshold and there we go. Now you can see both of them there. Uh, and now we just need to make sure that the values are gonna be correct. So the macro three, so multiple and output gain. So what's the minimum and what's the maximum of the output? So let's test that out. So the minimum would be zero and the maximum would be 24, like any of these other gain controls here. Output, so minimum is not minus 24, but zero. Okay, so it can only go upwards. So now we need to mix the value of the threshold because now if the gain is in zero, the threshold is minus 74, which doesn't really make sense. So now the threshold, we can put zero as minimum and minus, let's put 40 as maximum. So now you can see when the threshold goes down, the volume goes up. But now we don't want maybe that much volume. So we might want to put maybe 15. Yeah, we don't want to have it super loud. So let's just put 15. Beep, beep, beep. So let's try that out. Perfect. And also now I just do the same thing with everything else. So mid and high. So gain zero to 15. Threshold map zero to minus 40. And high and map zero to 15. Zero to minus 40. Okay, so now they are mapped. Obviously, you can map other things as well if you like, but then this allows us to map these macros into here. So let's map the ones that we really want here. So the first one I will start from the macro eight from the bottom here is the final gain of the whole chain. I'm going to put here and I'm going to recall it chain gain. So now this controls everything here. There we go. Now we can get everything else here. So I might use macro five, six and seven for these macros that we just mapped. So I might go here and map that there. And that's going to be called high compress. Macro six is gonna be mid compress and seven is gonna be low. And then we have here the EQ eight. I might not do much there, but for the glue compressor, yeah, we want to do dry wets and we wanna do the threshold and makeup game. Macro three and four. So macro four is gonna be the dry wets. 
So there's no right way or wrong way to do this. I'm just going to kind of go with it. You can always change it later if you want. So this is the parallel compression. So that would be glue dry wet. Okay, so it's 100%. And then here we're going to put macro three and that's going to be threshold and makeup gain. So makeup gain here and zero to let's put 15 decibels let's see if that would work threshold max let's see i think again it needs to go all the way around yes it does so it goes zero here minimum and then minus minus 40 threshold so d so when the threshold goes down the makeup gain goes up maybe the makeup game is bit harsh right now so i might put it even plus 10 instead Wow, that's so compressed right now. Kind of cool. And then we have saturator. And in here, we want to, when the drive goes up, the output goes down. So we are going from 0 to 36 with drive. So minimum is 0. And plus 36 is there. And then output... We want to go from zero to maybe minus 20. You can always try out like what would make sense. Minimum zero. What did I say? Minus 20. Drive needs to go to zero. So that's zero there. There we go. Zero. We. I'm going to put the output even minus 30 because that's going a lot. Yeah, that's better so that we are gain staging at the same time and macro one will be what we want to do. <gasps> we could do the air that gain. So it's zero now. So let's map band number four. And that goes from again, I lost it. EQ eight. <laughs> zero to plus 15 and that's called air let's put a little bit more okay there we go and now we can just tie them up put them all closed and then obviously we need to put some colors i love pastels so it's just easy for us to recognize oh we need to name here as well this is drive and that is <sighs> glue so Already I failed because I didn't name them straight away like this. I like the pastel colors. There we go. What a beautiful thing. And now comes the fun part where we can try and add our presets. So example. Let's create some air, some of that quite hard. Let's put quite easy compression. Dry wet so it's parallel. And then a little bit low. So that would be quite easy, master. Take it easy. Another variation where we're gonna have heart compression. So then we could do one maybe without the clue and maybe one with and then this could be color and then one more more air there and then maybe higher compression the mid there we go let's make like one that is quite bright obviously you can customize it as much as you want how you want and that's the great thing is that this gives you a very nice kind of start on creating your own chain whenever you want so especially what more you learn mastering the more you can customize that the more you can add stuff take stuff out and just go into the devices and customize them fun if you want to download this go to my website which is linked down below and also check out this whole series about mastering and learn more about mastering from here 
Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please hit the bell icon. Also, check out my Patreon family. They are absolute legends and amazing people. If you want to join us and become part of this family that we are super supportive to each other, if you want to grow your confidence and get support, get mentoring from me and more learning material as well for weekly live streams and masterclasses and everything, then go to the link down below to check out my Patreon. Lovely, lovely day for you. Happy mastering. Thank you, DistroKid, for sponsoring this series. Thank you. And have a very, very, very lovely day. Bye.